TGLC opens their routine with some seat rolls, show and goes, a girl with a WWE Friday Night Smackdown Championship belt, and a kick jolly kick fall, which I still don't quite understand how 3 tricks and 2 twists are legal, I will go figure that out, you guys watch this, and after, I will kindly, and lovingly, break down the entire f long ass routine for you guys that keep requesting full routine breakdowns. I just won't sleep ever, there is only 38 of these buggers running around in front of the shaky camera but no, no 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 I'll do it, because I love you guys. But send me money. You mother f And in this corner, with 6 wins coming by way of knockout, PGLC! Let's get it on! I must break you! Won't be debating anything when I walk in with my robe on. They call me the undisputed king. They yell at TGLC. Ring the bell, ding ding. I give it every week. Does their opening display to build towards the kick jolly kick fall, which is in fact legal for level 6, because the only rule for tosses in level 6 are, as stated, up to two and a half twists allowed, suggesting that there are no limit to the amount of tricks a top person could perform, so long as they only twist two and a half times. So technically, a team can do kick 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 doubles, and it totally be legal. Anyway, the basket doesn't count for anything. A full width double crosses the floor, and a group of width doubles synchronize. Kind of synchronize. Almost looks like a triple ripple. And then we get a one and a half through to full, which bounds into a punch front through to an Arabian through to a double. I am exhausted, but he did earn his team two elite passes there, for a total of six elite passes in this section. Meanwhile, TGLC enters their co ed section. They attempt an assisted toss full ups. On a team with 19 boys, they need 7 to max out their co-ed quantity score, and they do just that literally, exactly. Out of the 11 attempts, 7 hit unassisted, 2 hit assisted, one side spot hesitates, assess the situation, and eventually puts his hands on the stunt, transforming the stunt into an assisted stunt, and one falls. 
but don't ask the guy in front of the camera because he is still holding up that zero. And, finally, our tumbler buddy finishes his pass. They perform an additional co-ed style stunt, a toss one arm, and out of 11 attempts, 7 hit unassisted, on top of maxing out their co-ed score. Each of these particular stunts count as elite level for their stunt difficulty score, because they perform 7 in each, and for the stunt difficulty category they only need 6 groups to perform 4 elite level appropriate skills to secure a score in the high range. So there's that. Moving into TGLC's standing tumbling section, we see 11 attempts at handspring falls, and 18 attempts at standing falls, and there are only 2 tricksters that throw tucks out of the whole lot of 29. Not too shabby, TGLC only needs 18 elite standing tumbling passes to satisfy the high range requirements, but they can't stop, they attempt 16 2 to doubles, 10 of them doubling, and 6 throwing falls. But a 2 to full is still elite level in level 6 somehow, so they add 16 more passes into the pile, but they are not finished yet. 8 more attempts of 3 to doubles. 5 succeed, the other 3 succeed as well, but in single full form. Stacking 8 more passes in this aggressively attacked category, and just when you think they are done, they do more. 2 to full whip doubles. Out of the 7, 3 hit. The other 4 perform full whip falls, but that is still elite my friends. And our tumbling buddy bounces back to finish in a double, with another dude that does another 2 to full whip double. And we have finally escaped TGLC's standing tumbling section, and at its tail end, we are graced with these beautiful extended hand in hand inversions. What a treat, and the high to high released inversions executed just as well, and the crowd goes wild, kick double dismounts and TGLC adds two more elite skills on the board, and as the kick doubles land, the girls come flying through the air, six of the eight hit their running double pass, seven kick double basket tosses, even though they only need five, and an Arabian through to double across the front, putting them at 14 elite level running tumbling passes at this point in the routine. Colbin Blue, jumps in and demonstrates his double dutch skills, not level appropriate, where is Zac Efron? and everyone's favorite part of cheer, the dumbass jump section. Front hand spring ups to add another elite level skill to the stunt difficulty category, and a poorly executed Rocky Balboa sparring match. Next we have rippled full twisting switch ups, without the full twist. And without the switch up, they hit a paper doll pyramid structure, and then they hit a different paper doll pyramid structure, and then perform a cascade of extended downward inversions. Accenting the punch front through to double that crosses the front of the floor. A cool, one and a quarter twisting released a hitch, and then they go to exhibit a variety flipping dismounts. They do that. And that. And that. Rewind in the bow and arrow, rewind in the center, and then we get what appears to be drunk stunting. But no, wait, it was intentional. Those poor shoulder stands. Full twisting ticks to arabesque. A bunch of bird fronts, and a inverting release that transfer to the bases in the back. That is a lot of level appropriate elements, a total of 13. A full whip double to open up a running tumbling section. Arabian through to double follows. A group of 4 punch fronts evoking symmetry. A group of Arabian through to doubles. Another group of Arabians. One more group of Arabians. And another. And another. And one last group of Arabian through to doubles. 19 of the 20 attempts finishing in an elite level appropriate manner. And to finish, a synchronized running tumbling pass. Round off handspring doubles. 17 attempts. 14 doubles. 2 singles. And 1 beef. And of the 54 total elite running tumbling attempts. TGLC only botched 6, with 4 single falls, 1 balked pass, and 1 beef. 23 of the 48 elite level passes were combo passes that finished in doubles. Nuts, of the 61 attempts at standing tumbling passes, TGLC only had 2 tricksters, and they only needed 18 to hit the high range. They threw 2 co-ed style stunts. As I said before, with 19 boys they would need 7 coeds to hit one of these stunts to be in the high range. 7 of the 11 full ups hit unassisted, check, 
and 7 of the 11 toss 1 arms hit unassisted as well. Double check, they only needed 5 level appropriate tosses, and they give us 7 kick doubles, and the extra toss in the beginning which is just extra. For stunts, these Jaguars throw 0 level appropriate skills, but they do throw 5 elite level appropriate skills, which is enough to get them in the high range. They throw 13 level appropriate elements in their pyramid section, which is plenty, because in order to score in the high range for pyramid, only 4 level appropriate elements and 2 structures are required. I think they got it, and jumps are done. If you enjoyed this video, I demand that you click the like button. It does something important, I just don't know exactly what it does, but that's what the others do, and I'm a follower. Thank you for watching. This was a full ass routine breakdown. W Top Guns TGLC. Oh, and if you have any other full routine you would like to see us break down, you can go on. Christmas is just around the corner. Coming up, just around the bend. Holiday couldn't be here sooner. Holiday for family and friends. And we've got pine tree, pine cone, evergreen, mistletoe, candy cane, Santa Claus. A gingerbread woman and a gingerbread man in a gingerbread house and all.